And welcome to Soccer Night in Ohio from the Kansas side of the Missouri State Line. It is Sporting Park, home to the Blues of SKC, inside of this Eastern Conference matchup with the Columbus Crew. Look at the first 11, very similar to what we saw midweek. Absolutely, and Dominic Oduro up top with his speed is going to get respect from this Kansas City defense. So look at their starting lineup. You've got the veteran Fellhaber in there, and Nagamura, boy, what a workhorse. Yeah, and in the back, when you're talking about Colin and Opara backing things up, man, that is a strong team. It's first half kickoff is brought to you by Pepsi, the official beverage of Major League Soccer and the Columbus crew. No, that's not fog. It's just the leftover pyrotechnics prior to kickoff tonight. And we are underway from Sporting Park in Kansas City, Kansas. Up the 18. Short corner. Good dribble move into the box. And an even better one. And a penalty kick. Well, this one is highly reminiscent of the match a couple of weekends ago in Salt Lake. Columbus just looks to be on a different level. Chasing the game and a really poor challenge there and I think a very simple decision for the referee. Seventh minute from the spot. Looking for an early lead. 1-0! Well, if Kansas City's game plan was to come out and put the Columbus crew under pressure, they've certainly fulfilled it through seven minutes, and Bieler finishes things up after the men in blue earn the penalty kick. Lampson chooses the wrong corner, and Bieler buries it. His 10th goal on the year. Gardner. Nagamura. Two guys watching the ball. Saad runs around a pose into the corner and serves a great ball that's shot just wide. Yep. Boy, Chris, that's just not anywhere close to good enough defensively. It just isn't. You're right. Wall and Anor have got to communicate. These are two guys who've been on the field before together. And one has to commit defensively, and the other one's got to drop. And it's got to be a north step, step into the ball, and it's got to be Wall tracking the runner. One or two good passes. Even a mistake by the home side, and the whole game changes. Trouble, though, for Columbus. Into the box. Shot 2 0. -oh. It was just too casual at the midfield. Sporting Kansas City closed down the defenders in the middle. And on the bad touch, they go 3v3. And Saad gets way outside. And is way comfortable out there with a crack at goal. You talked at the outset of the broadcast about trouble on the flanks. He was removed from the match in the first half, replaced by Danny O'Rourke. And my partner here, Chris Dorn, suggested a second half substitution was in order at the outset. Sapong gets up and nods the ball into an unprotected crew goal. Well, the ball to Sapong is incredible. Roussel does a great job. And Sapong just keeps backing up as much as the defender will give him in the way of space. Lampson comes out with his hands down at his hips. Lampson's hands should be up over his head, attempting to intercept that service. The 
Into the box. Ball falls! And is hit way over the top. Well, Finley knew he had to pull that trigger early. Had a defender closing him down. Gets too far underneath it. Certainly frustrating after scoring his first MLS goal on Wednesday night. Had he not gotten that shot off, you want to got to wonder if maybe Harrietta was... Nagamura can't penetrate as he's caught from behind by Will Trapp. Outlet Garrick, Chani to space. Nicely done. And a good pass. Arietta, he scored some goals in this building. Looks for another one. And nearly snuck it past Nielsen. Low near post. Well, that is better from Arietta. The last goal he scored this season was in June on the 29th year at Sporting Kansas City. That should just about run out the scoreboard clock. Lamson to midfield. The referee's seen enough. 3-0 the final score. 